loneliness the primary motivation for seeking a celibate relationship? Is what? Is loneliness. Loneliness, mm -hmm. or not loneliness, but singleness, mm -hmm. the primary motivation for seeking a celibate relationship? Primary motivation for seeking one. It's mm -hmm. like I've been in the world and been in relationships having sex and single having sex, and I've been in Christ um, in relationships and single, and I struggled with sex in the relationship with Christ at the beginning, but then we both decided to stop and we both became celibate for God at a specific point. Obviously, what well, doesn't mean it was easy, you know, we had we tried to put boundaries, but the boundaries slowly started to crumble because God led, led us at the start. Like, He knew that me and her found each other very attractive, so he was like, okay, cool, keep even just a kiss into a minimum. Try not to even kiss. Oh, we're getting to that point, but continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and obviously, after a while, she started missing the affection that I was giving her. So she said, okay, can we just kiss? And instead of going what, what God told me, I decided to fall for what she told me. So I started to kissing. Kissing started leading to now more oral stuff. Mm. Oral stuff led to sex. Uh. You know what I'm saying? So then God was like, this relationship's not blessing me anymore. Mm -hmm. I need you guys to separate. Mm -hmm. And that's now why I'm single now in God for the first time. So yeah, it was much harder in a relationship to be abstaining than So how is it? Is, how is it is now it, that I'm single? Yeah. It's still I'm hard like, because yeah, it's, it's still hard. hard. Yeah. No, no offense, yeah, but some of you, okay, not some of you, but some <laughs> Christian or even worldly sisters, sisters mm. yeah, worldly That's sisters, the word. sisters, for some reason, yeah, <laughs> man, it's not even like that, but like somehow they find me now even more attractive than now I'm in God. And now you're trying to lead me into sexual morality. Wait, so you like me for being godly, but now you want to do ungodly things with me. So, so, so you're going to pull me out of the godliness that you like me for. So it's like, you're going to be the thing that's going to stop me from being godly. So why do you even, does that even make sense? You know what I'm saying? What? So it's like, you guys just only just stay away from me. And that's why I was at church two weeks ago, at family church, and Pastor Andy was preaching, and he shared a word, because I was struggling with lust with this one girl, and he was just like, cool, from now on I want you to see, like, my two closest boys yeah, in Portsmouth are a guy called Femi and Danzi, yeah? And God told me, from now on, look at every girl, every girl in the world, like them. and like then Danzi and Femi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's joking. So that's that's that 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 boys. That yeah, yeah like boys. I said, they're just my boys, you get me? So that I don't yeah. feel the like lustful way. And that's the way I've been going from now on, you get me? The Lord is good. So, yeah. in the relationship, <laughs> yeah. how, how easy or hard is it? To it's, it's actually very easy for me still. Yeah. Very, very easy. Yeah. I don't know if you like legit, like, because where I'm at with my relationship with God, like, I don't struggle with, like, with, like, sexual temptation. Like, it can come, I can easily just get up and walk out of the room if it comes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and plus I've been through too much for for me yeah. to backslide like mm -hmm. i know what's waiting for me like it's not just one demon it's several <laughs> and these men are coming and when they and it's, it's like they're waiting for you he's like oh i just wait for you to slip up mm -hmm. and these men are coming i'm just like nah I, 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 i've had deliverance once for like i don't know mm -hmm. eight seven hours I don't, I don't want it again but this time will be double or even more yeah mm -hmm. so i know for a fact that when it comes to that so sex so it's all of that i'm just out of it so it's fear then. Not fear of the Lord. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fear of the Lord. So it's fear of the Lord is the wisdom. beginning of oh, knowledge. Mm. So for me, I would say kind of the same thing. Um, because before we were in Christ, it was, and we were like, before we fully feel like, before we got um, baptized and received the Holy Spirit, it was a, it was a struggle. But after I received the Holy Spirit, it became so easy. Like, I don't really get tempted. And if anything comes, like you said, just walk out the room. Just be like, oh, I'm feeling some type of way, I need to stay away from you. Like, we'll just communicate that and just walk away. It's, it's so easy. It's crazy that you say that it was so easy because it's like, I feel like obviously the Bible says be transformed by the renewal of your mind, yeah? yeah. And it's like, when I came to Christ, there's some sins that I gave up instantaneously that was mm. so easy to stop. Mm. Like, I know that, like I was saying, uh, uh, during my testimony, like yeah. some of my friends, they struggled to stop with weed. It took them months to come out of it, even after receiving the Holy Spirit. That's the thing, but sex was something that they got rid of straight away. Mm -hmm. But for me, getting rid of weed was instantaneous. Yeah, I never yeah. smoked again since since that day. Yeah. But premarital sex was something I still struggled with. So everyone has something that that pulls them more than other things. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I guess so sex like, for us was just easy. Bam, gone. To get rid of, yeah, yeah. 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 So I get what you mean by that because your version of sex with my weed in it, but there's still something like sex and stuff, stuff like that still in my mind. It's something that God still renew my mind on because mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. about. Yeah. I like one thing I really, really enjoy from what we were saying was partners and mindsets. Mm. 
Mm. So it depends on who you actually wait mm. and the mindset yeah. both of you have. First year of uni, mm. if you were to ask me, can a Christian date someone that's not Christian? I would say yes. In the sense of like, maybe God has put you in that person's life to bring it to Christianity. But if your faith is not strong, mm-hmm. and you're entering into someone that doesn't know nothing, like, now, knowing what I know <laughs> from first day, I would not advise that. When you want to date somebody, make sure the Holy Spirit is actually leading you to date that person. Don't just date them based on attraction. Yeah. Because attraction can be deceiving. Yeah. That's how the yeah. devil works too, bro. Yeah, attraction. Something that is that you find very, very fancy and mm-hmm. the devil comes in. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like what happens with that, what you're saying is that a lot of lot of people who are not rush into relationships or rush into having out. sex, right? Yeah, <laughs> because because they enjoy having sex. And yeah. they're like, oh, okay, this person's really amazing. I really want to marry this person. It's because you're beaten and all the flaws which they have, you're covering it up with yeah. the sex. Yeah, because sex is yeah. very powerful. Yeah. And so yeah. when you end up getting married, and it's not just beating. It's yeah. it's family issues, raising a family, and then you're like, oh no, this person you're married isn't for me. And then now you want to get a divorce. It's tight. Because not all girls, but some girls tend to get more emotionally attached. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's true. Especially when they use the virginity to that person. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. This is my mentality. If you're going to regret something, don't do it. Mm-hmm. You learn at every single point in your life. Mm-hmm. But if you know it's something that, oh my God, will hold you, don't do it. Mm-hmm. That's good advice. Like I always say, when you rush in, you rush out. Mm-hmm. The moment you rush in, the legion rush in, rushes in as well. <laughs> Yeah. That's the problem because you give and my bishop always used to say this one line like you give the devil a crack he'll kick it to the Grand Canyon you get mm-hmm. me like you give him any sliver of space and he's gonna come in there with as much force as he can especially if he knows that you're gonna try to close that space as he can he's gonna try to enter in with something and try to make you mm-hmm. stuck in something longer than he need, needed to be you get me so it's like the moment you rush in you open that door and something else has come through that door as well so it's kind of like it's easy to say rush in rush out but the moment you rush in. It's going to be a battle out. It goes, yeah. The devil ain't going to let you just walk out of there, you get me? And it's going to use you when you're still in the world. Mm. And it's, it's almost where your way back to Christ is not going to be an easy journey. Mm-hmm. And, and one thing mm-hmm. I've gonna, uh, people are in the world, like, guys, like, one thing I've realised is you will die eventually. Like, <laughs> like forget forget about your uni, forget about all this stuff right here. Like, you don't know Study. when you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> in it, in it. You could die like in a second, a minute, a day, True. a month, True. a week, or even a year from now. Yeah. yeah. So why why are you out here faffing about right yeah? Like having sex, like going to uni. There was not because sorry, going to uni. <laughs> like even going to uni, right, yeah, out here putting more effort into your studies than getting your relationship right with God. So that that moment when you do die. Yeah, you know where you're going, you've planned where you're going, you're That's going to heaven. That's yeah, true. rather than out here, then out here just like, what's it called, tempting fate, is in you're blind to the fact that eventually you're going to die. Mm-hmm. Like, this is how some people move and like, you need to wake up and realise that, right. that you will die. Like, like, you're loving the world too much, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? You're loving yeah. the world too much, isn't yeah, it? You think we're going to live here forever. But we're not. Like, we're not. Exactly. It's we're not. temporary, isn't it? We're not. It's a temporary place. Yeah, yeah. temporary. Yeah, Guess. <laughs> Guess, basically. Yeah. I mean, that was like, this ain't even our home. Yeah. Right? yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like, for what shall I profit a man if yeah. you came to the whole world? Get yeah, used to this talk. Amen. Mm. Amen. So I saw Amen. a quote, I saw a quote that actually kind of relates to what you're saying. Mm. It was like, speak to people in the way if they died the next day, satisfied oh. with the last thing you said to them. So mm. it's like, live your life yeah. the right way. So mm. if you die, like, you end up yeah. in heaven. Mm-hmm. See, the temptation is real. Mm. Even the little one of lying. Mm. Mm. That's, if I get the easiest sin. People fall into. Yeah. Like, let's, just, let's just go into What's it. Because one thing, one thing people don't realize I think it's lying. I think it's pride. No, no, I think it's lying because. I think it's lying. I think it's different because, for no, everybody. No, no, because. Um, no, but lying is <laughs> No, no, no. Lying, lying is true because because um us humans, we see lying as, like, in different stages. Yeah. Different stages. Like lying about killing someone. Like, oh, why would you lie about that? But if someone lies something to a little, was in like, oh, um. Or trying to make someone feel better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to make someone feel better. It's still a lie. <laughs> But God sees everything like and sin as, as the same thing. I get, I it's only us we've categorized. I get what you're saying, but I, I feel like I feel like pride because it's, pride is original sin. Yeah. Mm. When I was praying to God once back in April, He showed me like a proper diagram, like in a vision mm. of why pride is the center of nearly pretty much every sin. Mm. You know, um, He showed me, for example, like someone like my girl at the time was comparing herself, right? I was like, he's stop comparing yourself. She's like, why? It's like, not a deep, but some of these girls on Instagram are just like, better looking stuff. So I just compare myself. I'm like, and the God just told me comparison is a sin. So I just said out loud, like, comparison is a sin. She's like, how? And I do it to a nation. Last question. What does celibacy mean to you? And 
for people out there, is it possible to leave a celibate life? A celibate to me? Yeah, and is it possible for so someone to leave a celibate life? Celibacy to me is you know, like abstaining, which means stopping completely all sexual activity with a reason behind it, which is obviously God. Obviously, God is, God is now the center of my life. He's my everything, so he's the reason why I want to stop doing it. You know, obviously, I know my human nature. God says that the human heart is deceitful above all else. I know my human nature always wanted, but the flesh, yeah. Obviously, the Bible says if I walk in the spirit, then I can obviously avoid the things of the flesh. So the only way to obviously be able to reach that level of celibacy is to trust in the Holy Spirit. He's our advocate, he's our friend, he's our helper, you know, and with that he'll allow you to have the fruit of the Spirit to be evident in your life. Obviously abstaining and being celibate will be much easier when you let the Holy Spirit guide your life instead of you being God in your own life, making your own decisions. So, yeah. So is it possible for someone to live a celibate life? It's very possible, I've seen many people It's do. hard. But it's hard, not easy. Anyone tells you that easy is a liar. <laughs> <They're> a liar. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually it's possible to live a life being celibate and I feel like um, it becomes easier um, the deeper your relationship with this God because um, God will give you the strength not to fall for it and you just you just like, you know, like, like some it books in the Bible, like these men, like girls be coming up like just be able like, you, you got to give you the strength to just run away from it and just yeah, no, run, fly. Yeah, fly. And because you value your relationship with God for far much more than what your flesh desires, and so yeah, just yeah, that's, that's all. So it's possible to live a life just have the Holy Spirit and have God at the center of your relationship. Otherwise, is it possible? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Celibacy to me is a part of my relationship with God. That's what it means to me. Um, and yes, it is very, 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 absolutely possible um, to live a celibate life. Um, you just, it's very possible to live mm. a celibate life. Um, like Sibo said, you need to walk in the spirit so you will fulfill that. Or if you walk in the flesh, you fulfill the lust of the flesh. Simple. Um, first of all, though, if you're struggling, very, very good advice. You first of all need to repent, aka okay, repent of your sins. And forgiveness is always there. I feel like people, 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 people condemn themselves too much. It's mm -hmm. like everyone is sinned, mm -hmm. and you can you already forgiven. It's God not, loves you anyway. Not, yeah, like you already forgave her sex one time. I'm not gonna continue doing this because oh, I'm already sinning. <laughs> I used to have that. I had that mindset before. That's mm -hmm. very dangerous. When you fall into sin, you need to repent. Run, run, run. Don't ever think. Yeah. Oh well, I've done it. I might as well continue. No, that is a very wrong uh, thing. That's not. Right. There's the mercy. There's grace. Please go back to God. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. no. So one top, one thing we didn't really touch about that I want to touch about is the old spirits and sex thing. But in the next video, we will talk about. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Thank Don't forget to like, watching, like, 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 comment. My channel's in jams, I M J A M S. It'll be at the bottom. Yeah. My Instagram will be at the bottom too. Wait, wait. My snap.